So I am not a big fan of the direction the start menu has been going ever since Windows 7. Windows 7 was probably the pinnacle, although I liked some aspects of Windows XP better for their start menu design. But 8 was famously bad, 10 was only good in comparison to 8, and then 11 goes in yet another direction that is far superior to 8, but maybe just a sideways step from 10. So of course, you're not stuck just using what Microsoft gives you. There are a number of third-party tools that offer start menus. And here I'm going to look at Start All Back, which is, I think, a pretty impressive recreation of the Windows 7 Start Menu. In fact, right now I am running it on Windows 11. And you might be forgiven for thinking that I'm running Windows 7. Let's see just how good a match it is. I'm opening up a virtual machine here running Windows 7, and here we have an honest-to-goodness start menu over on the right side of my screen. And on my real Windows 11 machine over on the left, we have the recreation. And visually, they match quite well. Of course, while visuals might mean something, I don't think anyone uses these traditional start menu because they just love the look. It's more about the functionality. And I think the functionality of start all back is also quite a good match. So let's go through that just a little bit. I am going to do this sort of off the cuff live. So I apologize if I uh, biff it a little bit or maybe go a little slower than you would like. Hopefully this will uh, give you an idea of whether or not this is worth trying a little bit more for yourself. So just like a traditional start menu, you have the All Programs expansion here that has hierarchies that you can expand and collapse. You can rename your applications or your shortcuts to those applications so that you can keep track of what they're good for. This here is Microsoft Edge, and I like to keep my activities, my online activities, a little bit separate between my different web browsers. So uh, I had this named bank accounts instead of MS Edge, and I think that's actually a nice thing to be able to do. I actually have on my real computer a whole bunch of different web browsers that I use for occasional activities that I want to keep truly segregated. It can be hard to remember which browser goes with what. So being able to rename things is pretty handy. So let's say you want a gaming browser. Now you have that name, so you don't have to try and remember. And then if you want it to be on the main list, it's easy to pin it there like this, which is pretty much the same thing as what you would have done in the real Windows 7 start menu. Now, one thing that is at first glance very similar, but actually improved in Start All Back is this set of shortcuts over here, which have the ability to expand as uh, cascading menus. Windows 7 had a similar sort of setup, but was less flexible. So uh, you can expand like this, sort of like a file browser in a menu, where they can just be links, but you're sort of limited to just the things that Microsoft thinks should be here. You can't choose arbitrary folders to go here. Whereas in Start All Back, you can put anything you want here. So for instance, I have chosen the HP Downloads folder to be an expanding menu here. Obviously in the real world, you would use something a little more useful here, like you could have your list of favorite games or current projects or whatever, and then have a nice easy expansion here. So this is actually uh, an improvement rather than just a slavish recreation of the original Windows 7 start menu. Drag and drop works pretty well, so we can drag things from this recently used region up into this pinned region and put them there. I'm not sure why it put a 2 there. That seems a little bit weird, but um, in the ideal world, you could just rename them from here, but sadly, uh, they seem to have not enabled the renaming from this side of things. Hopefully that's a feature coming in the future. Um, but in general, the names seem to come across just fine. Um, and you can sort of reorganize where things are in this list if you want. 
I don't know. Let's see. Can you reorganize things down here? I don't think you can. Only with only the pinned things can be placed arbitrarily. But still, that's pretty good. It gives you a decent amount of organization. If you go to all programs, you can't just drag those around. So if you want the accessibility list to be at the bottom, too bad. These are only alphabetized. However, that's how it worked in the original too. So these are not draggable within this list. So the one thing that I really wish the start all back had that it, it does not is a feature that I used extensively in Windows XP, which is the ability to put folders up here in the pinned region, and then they would cascade out just like these folders over here do. But that's not really a big loss because we can put arbitrary folders over here and get that same functionality. So I think all in all, start all back does a really excellent job of copying the Windows 7 start menu and even uh, vastly improves the task manager, or excuse me, task bar, if you're the sort of person who wants to have your task bar somewhere other than the bottom of the screen. So I've always been a big fan of putting things on the left over here. Notice how you can actually see the titles of your apps a little bit over here, which can be handy. Uh, that's the reason why I like it doing it this way. And of course, on a unmodified version of Windows 11, you only get to put your task bar down at the bottom. And it really doesn't work very well unless you use just the application icons. You can't get any names in there. So I need to interrupt the video now to insert a quick point, And I think this is the least disruptive place to do it. First is that this organization of having the start menu on the side is not a mandatory feature. It is just as in the previous versions of Windows that didn't suck. You can just drag it down to the bottom or to the side or the top. All those are options. So it's just my personal preference to have it over here. And it's nice that that personal preference is respected. The other thing I want to point out is that search is no longer horribly broken in Start All Back. So if you push the Win key, you get into a text box that says search programs and files. So if I search for the previously named uh, gaming browser, type correctly, gaming, there we go. Gaming browser shows up. And you'll notice that there's no useless web results in here or search for suggestions on how to do this using Bing, blah, 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 not there. You get your programs and you get your appropriate settings just like in 7. If I search for a program name like Edge, we also get that. And then if I hit enter, it's going to start Edge. So search functionality is equivalent to Windows 7's start menu and works great. Unless you like option of using the start menu to also search the web, this is a huge improvement over Windows 10 and Windows 11. Okay, back to the rest of the video. On the whole, I think that even as it currently exists with no improvements, this is a worthwhile purchase. I am reviewing version 3.7 here, uh, which suggests it's a relatively stable application that's been around for a while. However, I've only used it for less than a day, so I can't really speak to that. But I do think that I will be giving it a uh, more lengthy evaluation. And if I discover that there are big gotchas, I will definitely put up a new video about that. So this is part of a longer series I intend to do on various start menu recreations and uh, also looking at the original start menus for the different versions of Windows to see what we've gained and lost over the years. And I, I will add additional links to those other videos as they become available in the description. So hopefully. Uh, the other people out there who can remember the good or in some cases bad old days will come along for the ride. And in any case, I appreciate you hanging around to the end of the video. See you later.